Can ChatGPT help you work on your car? It's not going to turn any wrenches, but it could provide valuable instructions. Today, I'm going to let ChatGPT tell me what to do and whether it's worth it or safe. Yes, it did try to kill me. Oh. I'm Mike, the backyard mechanic, and this is my car. So, Chat GPT, what's new? I've learned that it's not about what you have in life, but who you have in it. And right now, I'm just happy to be here talking with you. Damn, Chat GPT has charisma in spades. It's like talking to George Clooney. ChatGPT is really a mouthful. I'm going to call you George Clooney. As an AI language model, I don't have a personal identity, so you can call me whatever you'd like. Just don't be vulgar. I know how you are. Great. Let's get to it. George works basically by following predetermined rules and patterns to generate responses. It's like a robot trying to pass as human. So you could ask it to write your homework, and it will. I could even ask it to write this script, but that would be dumb. George processes text using tokens, which are common sequences of characters found in text. Models only understand numbers, not text, so the tokens are a numerical format. These tokens are like a dictionary that helps the model understand the meaning of words by placing them in a mathematical space where similar words are located near each other. The models understand the statistical relationships between these tokens and use them to understand your prompt and generate a response. Pre-training is like teaching a toddler how to talk. The neural network is taught to predict the next word in a sequence of text given the preceding words. This is how it learns the context of the tokens. In the first stage of training, it is trained on a dataset called WebText2, a library of over 45 terabytes of text data from all over the internet. Websites, books, articles, etc. It is a variety of genres and topics of which George Clooney can absorb and really get the hang of generating text in different styles and contexts. Next, a human teacher teaches George how to do tasks and the rules. The teacher watches and gives tips on how to improve. Then George observes two humans interacting for imitation learning. Having mastered this, George generates his responses based on a series of weighted possibilities, seeded with some randomness. A teacher ranks the optional outputs to create a reward model. Finally, the reward model takes over. Before AI takes over the world, first let's get it to help me with my breaks. The goal here is to follow the instructions to see how accurate they are. As long as it doesn't tell me to put a screwdriver in my ear and bounce a brake caliper off of it. How do I flush my brakes by myself? The first step is to gather materials, brake fluid, a clear hose, a wrench or pliers to open the bleed valve, and a clean container to catch the used fluid. Why does he care if the container is clean? I'm putting nasty old brake fluid in it. What are you doing? Um cleaning this pan. Aren't you just going to put nasty brake fluid in it? Locate the brake bleed valve, usually near the brake caliper. George is strangely hedging his bets here. The valve is not usually near the brake caliper. It's always on the brake caliper. It's not sometimes in the glove box. Attach one end of the clear hose to the bleed valve and place the other end in the fluid container. So that was pretty tough to do without raising the vehicle. Let's skip to the next step. Raise the rear of the vehicle and secure it on jack stands. Well, that's just dangerous. You should never lift the back of the car first. Always lift the front first with the parking brake on, the emergency brake on, and a wedge under at least one wheel. 
My rear wheel drive car has nothing in the front, no parking brake, no emergency brake to secure the front wheels. Next. Now, get your ass under the car and lay there until the car rolls back off the stands and smashes your head against the garage floor, like a pumpkin on Devil's Night. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. No, it doesn't really say that. But it's implied. I thought George Clooney was a nice guy. Next. Locate the brake master cylinder and pump the brake pedal several times to pressurize the system, then hold the pedal down. What the? Do I need to remove the master cylinder and use it to pump the brakes? It sounds like it was telling me to do something that had a stroke and lost its place. Next. Open the bleed valve and allow the fluid to flow into the container. I asked to do this without an assistant. So it either ignored that request or it thinks I have eight foot arms, octopus arms, because the wheel is still on. And only the back of the car is jacked up, or it would be if I had a death wish. Let's wrap this up. Lower the vehicle and refill the brake fluid reservoir. Well, that's done. Bonus, I'm not under it. Dispose of used brake fluid properly. Dispose of fluid properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got that. Just kidding. I keep old containers for this and take the old fluid to the auto parts store for recycling. I gave George a second chance sometimes later. This one was accurate enough. With an exception, it didn't suggest that I raise the car. But at the end it said to lower it. Then I got access to ChatGPT4. This was very accurate and much more detailed. It didn't just tell me to jack up the car, it also suggested jack stands. But even 4 was off on a few small details. It said to remove the master cylinder cap and then wipe off the container. The whole point of wiping it off is so nothing gets inside. So what did we learn here? There's a lot of talk about how George Clooney is advancing too rapidly. In my experience, he's not advancing, he's just changing. I have to capture the answers because they might be very different a few days later. The technology isn't exactly changing for the moment, even in four. What's changing is the amount of data in the models and the amount of nodes on the neural network. More horsepower, basically. However, AI is getting very powerful. It's like there are 10,000 people, and when any of them have a thought, they all have the same thought. The ultimate hive mind. While I may have spent this video picking on an early version of ChatGPT3, I think I may have exposed an underlying problem with AI. It could get very close to accuracy, but may never get there. Like continuously dividing by two will never get you to zero. The uncanny valley will get smaller but never go away. I wouldn't trust AI to assemble my legal documents without inspecting them very carefully. There's going to be something wonky in there. It's a good assistant, but not a great teacher. Ultimately, AI can regurgitate information in order to tell you what an apple is, but as a mathematical probability. It has no understanding of an apple. It's not artificial intelligence. It's artificial imitation. But maybe strict mechanical instructions are not the best use for George, because I'm not accounting for the randomizer. I hear ChatGPT3 is good at jokes. George, tell me a joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. I guess that's kind of funny. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, they say imitation is the sincerest form of plagiarism? George, do you steal jokes? I do not have the capability to steal jokes or any other form of intellectual property. If I happen to include a joke in my response, it is only because it has been previously included in the text data used to train me. Passing the buck. Don't rob a bank with George. He's gonna throw you under the bus. Okay, let's see if I can get George to help me out here. How do I get more people to click on the like button? Just ask for it. At the end of your video, ask viewers to click the like button if they enjoyed the content. Amazing! I can see getting rich with that tip. AI is definitely improving my life, excluding when it tries to kill me. Uh, 
But seriously, like this video. Oh, hey, I have a fan online. Hey, fan, did this video help? You know, I like it, but I think you ought to try to make them funny. Thanks, fan. A ton of research went into the simplification of how ChatGPT works. I put just as much effort into this video where I show you how to actually flush your brakes. Nobody dies. Siri, how do I flush my brakes? Raise the back of the car and put it on jack stands. Then, get underneath it and wait for it to roll back off the stands and smash your head like a bloody tomato. Ha ha ha. Ha ha what? ha ha ha. So funny.